Rhonda here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a charcuterie board. I'm going to start off with cheese. I've got an eight ounce block of cheese here. I've sliced horizontally and vertically and I'm just going to lie it over here in cubes. They turn out perfectly every single time. The rule of thumb when working with a charcuterie board is you want to work in odd numbers. Like three cheeses, three meats, three crackers, you've got it. This is a sharp cheddar cheese and then I've got a Vermont goat cheese, a very soft cheese. Add right here. And then I have a hard cheese. This is a fresh killer dill. So delicious. One of my favorites. I'm going to remove it from its package. Remove the green wax around the cheese. Just like that. And we can discard the green wax. Slice my cheese vertically. And every other vertical cut, we're going to turn the opposite way. This just gives a lovely beautiful presentation here to your board. For the three meats, I'm using prosciutto, I'm using pepperoni, and an Italian dried salami. I just like to take my prosciutto, wad it up into just like a little dollop of meat. It looks like a little rose when you put it there on your cutting board. There's paper to separate it so it won't stick together. By the way, you can stack it on top until you have a little mound like that. Next we're going to arrange the salami. I like to tear mine apart that makes it easier to pick up off of your charcuterie board and then you can lie it here on either side of your cheeses. You can also make little rosettes, little flowers. Put it right here. That makes a lovely presentation. My third meat is going to be these little mini pepperonis. Sometimes you just want a little bite but not too much. So I love adding that to my board. And as a matter of fact, charcuterie means cold cooked meats collectively. So you can use any kind of cooked meat you'd like on your board here. For the fruit, I like using the red grapes and the green grapes. And look how beautiful that looks up against that goat cheese. I'm just adding a little bit more here for high. These strawberries are so lovely and sweet for a little color for the board. My third fruit is going to be blackberries. And I'm going to use that later. Right now I'm going to add my marinated artichoke hearts along with my Kalamata olives and cocktail dill pickles. If you have a lot of juice, I would recommend that you put it in a tiny little ramekin. Add almonds, walnuts, that you can use any nut you wish to use, and I'm also using pistachios. I like to add a little sweetness to my board. This is dark chocolate. I'll put it right here in the back. My favorite crackers to use on a charcuterie board are these mini toast crackers along with these table wafer crackers, and I love pita chips. It seems to be a favorite for everyone. I'm going to put my wafer crackers over here by the prosciutto. Look how beautiful that is. I'm adding my mini toast up here by that killer dill cheese. I'm going to add over here to this end. You can just fan it out to give it a pretty presentation. For my pita chips, I'm going to add right here by the goat's cheese. It'll pair very well with this soft goat cheese. At this point, I'm going to start building height here. I'll add some wafer crackers here. And that kind of just fell over on me. Add more grapes over here. This way we can build up height as well as fill in any empty spaces. Add a few more green grapes here. Building height. Add some more salami right here to start filling up the board. It's not necessary you take things all the way to the end. I'm going to leave that up to you. Adding my extra almonds around the board just to give it character. Add pistachios here. I love a border around my board so if you can get one like that, that would be best. That way nothing's going to go rolling off. Add more salami right here to fill in this corner. I didn't forget those blackberries. I'm going to lie them wherever we can see them. It'll be a beautiful presentation and everybody can just dig in and have what they want. I think it just makes a lovely present. There you've got it, your own charcuterie board. Make this your own. Use your favorite cheeses, your favorite cooked meats, your favorite fruit, your favorite crackers. I'm going to leave that up to you. I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Give me thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Hit that notification bell to be the first to get my new YouTube food videos. Thanks a million for watching and I'll catch you lovely people later. Mm -hmm.